Hey, it's Dr. Ken Starr with the Wellness Group in Rio Grande. I'm going to show you today the uh, Sparrow Ascent device by uh, Spark Biomedical. <clears throat> so Spark Biomedical makes this uh, transcutaneous stimulator, FDA approved for opiate withdrawal. This is similar to the older bridge device. This is significantly better. The bridge device was disposable. You put it on for five days, you threw it away. You couldn't turn it on, you couldn't turn it off, you couldn't adjust it. Um, you didn't even know if it was working after a little bit of time. This is patient controlled. They can stay on as long as you want. Each earpiece is one day, comes with seven in the box, but a, uh, usually a new patient pack is 28 days, which is great for longer treatment durations. People coming off of methadone, buprenorphine, suboxone, etc. This is the main box that comes with the controller, the cable, and the earpiece. There's three pieces, the cable, the controller, and the earpiece. <clears throat> Most of the earpieces, or all of the earpieces, are left-sided earpieces. You can't get right. That has to be ordered separately for some reason. Uh, and if you do need earpieces, they're pretty expensive, surprisingly. I mean, a box is, I don't know, 600, 800,000 bucks, something like that. Uh, the controller takes three AA batteries. Depending on the level of stimulation, that can last anywhere from a day to uh, a day and a half maybe two days at the most. So have plenty of batteries on hand, three AAA batteries. It actually comes with a number of batteries, which is generous. <clears throat> and this is what the device looks like. It's small, pocket size, you can put it in your pocket. It actually comes with a belt loop you can clip to your belt. Um, there's an inner and an outer electrode. You can adjust them separately. I'm not sure why you'd want to, but uh, you can. Um, the stimulation goes from zero to 50. I have a patient testimonial I'll throw up here in a bit where the guy never really went above 20. I think he just didn't tolerate it. But this is the device, uh, it, uh, it turns on, turns off, you can control it. Now you can control the stimulation, but it has its own cycle. And I think the cycle is like five minute build up, 10 seconds off, and then it kind of winds up and then, and then winds down. You can control the timer, how long you want it on, and you can control the amount of stimulation, but you can't really control the cycles, uh, the cycle type, like it, it will always do that. I guess there's reasons for you know, nerve stimulation. But this is the device, we're gonna show you how we, we get it on the patient here. Um, pretty easy to use. Uh, the cable clicks in and out, so that's one piece. The cable's one piece, the controller's one piece, and then the earpieces uh, just clip into that little uh, controller right there. Um, the earpiece is very fragile, very delicate. It's really just a thin, tiny wire, I and mean, you might even just accidentally tear this thing, getting it out if you're not careful. <coughs> and um, it applies, the little sticky part goes inside the inner ear just above the auditory canal. There's another electrode that goes in front of the ear, pre-auricular, and one that goes behind the ear, which is post-auricular. Now, the, the mechanism of action, this is the transcutaneous stimulator that um, stimulates the trigeminal and vagus nerve, increasing your brain's own or endorphin and opiate supply, reducing opiate withdrawal. Now, this is our first patient we've used it on, so I don't know how successful it is. He does give us a testimonial in, 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 in another video coming out shortly. And, um, you know, the, the bridge device, the device before this, they were, you know, they were advertising like you just needed this device, you didn't need anything else. I never found that to be true. I think that it helped a lot, but this is better than the bridge device. You know, number one, you can wear this as many days as you need. The bridge device was a throwaway five-day device. Uh, this you can control the amount of stimulation, and um, which is great. So I, I, I like that. Now this patient in the testimony says that you know he kind of had repeated trouble with the, um, the the decal sticking to his head, and he was getting error messages. So that might be an issue. <clears throat> Seems pretty um, picky. But just get the hair out of the way, clean the skin, make sure the patient's dry. Um, with longer hair, it's a little bit more challenging, but these just apply really simply just like that. So it's very comfortable once it's on. You just adjust the stimulation to what you tolerate. Um, if you're having shooting pain down your neck, it's probably not in the right place. Um, again, I don't know why the inner ear and the outer ear probes would be adjusted um, separately in terms of stimulation level. There, there must be a reason and I have to get more patient experience before I can answer that. But this stimulates the trigeminal, the vagus nerves and, and, and uh, you know, uh, it's much better. It doesn't pierce the skin. The bridge device had little needles like you're getting your ear and, and face pierced every time you put it on. Uh, so this is a you know, much better, much more comfortable device. And we're just plugging it in. The earpiece plugs it right into that little uh, cable grasp there. Um, you know, there are multiple points of failure on this device, and, and maybe that's why the patient had uh, issues with uh, error codes. <clears throat> but, you know, I, I like the fact that you can see it's easy to adjust. You can um, turn on and off each point, set the timer, then just kind of lay down and walk away. So this is a drug-free treatment for opiate withdrawal. It's called the Sparrow Ascent. It's made, it's made by Spark Biomedical. Um, the price on this is going to be somewhere between, like, 
3500 and $4,500. Uh, that would be you buying the whole thing. Now, obviously, if you're in a clinic, you're just going to wear it for a week or two. Like at our place, we'll probably just charge like a rental fee and an earpiece fee because the earpieces are throwaway. But we can reuse the controller and, 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 and the cable holder. So no really need to buy that. But we have shipped to, some to some patients and they've worn them for a longer period of time. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that introduction to the Spark Biomedical Sparrow Ascent. And uh, feel free to ask or answer, you know, send over questions.